when you buy your oysters, if you're not going to use them right away, make sure and pack them in ice in the refrigerator until you're ready to use them and try to use them within a day or so of buying them. Make sure and wash your oysters really well before shucking them and um, I like to rinse them under cold water but if there's a lot of sediment on it you can use like a vegetable brush something like this which works really well and that way you can scrub the shells get any excess sediment off. Since I don't have a lot of strength in my wrist for shucking oysters, what I like to do is I put them on a plate. This is a little tip to help you for those of you who have problems like myself. And I just pour a little bit of water on the bottom of the plate. And I'm gonna stick this in the microwave for just a few seconds at a time because I just want them to open just a little bit to help me with the shucking process. So the goal is just to have the oysters open up a little bit. I did these for like 30 seconds. I wanna show you this one. You see how it's starting to open right there, the shell? You don't wanna cook the oysters because I'm gonna, the recipe is to use the oysters raw. So this looks good. So I'm gonna to try to open this one up and if the other ones need a little bit more time, I'll stick them back in the microwave for a few seconds. Beautiful. Did good on that one. Wow. Just gonna scrape that. With this batch, I'm just doing six oysters. I got three opened really nicely after 30 seconds in the microwave. So I'm gonna stick these three back into the microwave for a few more seconds. I'll do it like 15 seconds at a time. It's been 30 more seconds on these, so. Okay, this is opening up. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. And see another one thing, see all of this nice juice there in the oyster, the oyster liquor. We're gonna save all of that because we're gonna use that for our recipe too. That's a really nice, rich flavor. Sometimes it takes a little doing, see I, I stuck my little shuck a knife there into that groove and you got to be gentle because you don't want to break up your oyster and just gently you know pry that shell off of there and then release it from the other shell another beautiful oyster Now our oysters are all shucked and you could definitely eat them like this if you want. You could put your favorite cocktail sauce on there, some horseradish, some hot pepper sauce, a little lime juice maybe.